mad at you. No. Okay, any, the Victoria sessions? Sycamores are here. They have a date in the semifinals, game two tomorrow against Evansville. Greg Lansing is in the middle. Christian Smith, Niels Bunshoten, and Brenton Scott are with us representing the student body. We're gonna have Greg start off with a statement on the game. We'll go to questions for the three student athletes and then come back to Greg. Coach, please. Uh, just really pleased uh, uh, about a lot of different things, but most of all, just how hard these guys played tonight. Uh, we knew what we're up against. We're up against an outstanding team that beat us by 30, and it was never a game at their place uh, when we were on a tough stretch there before. Uh, but these guys have some pride. Uh, they have some togetherness. They have some toughness to them. And uh, we talked a lot about, hey, that's a new season uh, coming in. And in and, and postseason, it's team, a lot of good teams going at it. You saw all the close scores in, in the other games. It's the team that follows the game plan uh, the best. And uh, both teams played their... Uh, their tails off, and, and we we're fortunate enough to hang on there at the end. But I just couldn't be happier for these guys. So proud of how hard they played and how they came together. First question, right here, Todd. <clears throat> Christian, I'll start with you. Uh, just talk about the defensive commitment and the defensive wherewithal that you had right off the tip of the game. Obviously, that had a big influence on on all 40 minutes. <clears throat> um, that was the main focus. I mean, you know, you're not all, all shots aren't going to fall, but. When we was at their place, we didn't guard them at all. We let them get everything that they wanted to, and that they, they moved the ball freely and everything. So, I mean, the coaches did a great job of just readjusting the defensive game plan. And when we came out from the tip, we were ready. We were locked in on the, uh, the scouting report, and we were just ready to uh, defend because we knew that that's what's going to win you a uh, game in March, defending, because offense is going to take care of itself with all the firepower that we have. So that's not what we were really worried about. We were worried about being uh, the most locked in team on defense. Go again, yes. This question's for Brenton and then for Christian. Uh, Coach Lansing talked about the game plan. And it looked to me like defensively, getting a hand in on Illinois State's penetration going up the lane, uh, kind of interfering with their ball handlers. You know, talk about what the game plan was and how well you guys were able to follow it uh, and how that went. Uh, the game plan was just that, you know, being the weak side, you know, help, you know, uh, Help dig in the post and stuff like that. Coach was on me all all week about it, and uh, you know all I year. all year. year about it. So you know uh, I did a better job tonight, and uh, I was able to get my hand on a couple of steals and uh, help our team uh, score a couple of baskets. Um, I think the most important part was all five guys had to had to be in tied in. Um, they're a very versatile group. They have their big men even drive the ball. So, I mean, even Murphy and Imandre and Niels did a great job with the penetration. And we were more in the gaps today than we normally were um, just because we know how, how good they are just getting to the basket and finishing. And even they had shooters, but we, we were just going to live with that. And, um, you know, I mean, like I said, we, we came out from the, uh, from the tip and we were ready to play. Stay there. Yes. Niels, uh, you get the start today. And talk about your mentality coming into this game because you, you started off well on both ends. Uh, what was going through your mind when you found that out? And uh, obviously, what did you try to bring to the game today? Well, um, I just thought, you know, it's a tournament game. It's go hard or go home. So I just decided to play as hard as I can and give everything that I got because there's, there's nothing after this. So um, that's just what I thought. And the starting thing doesn't really uh, cross my mind. It's just... Same thing, we, I just come in and play hard. For Christian and Brenton, can you talk about Niels' uh, contribution, especially early, uh, big energy source? Uh, and although all of you are playing pretty good defense, uh, th that was an important spark early. Um, yeah, Coach always talks about me being the, the energy guy on the team. This guy right here, you know, took it over. I mean, I, I kind of had to let back and and let him be that that guy. I mean, he came out, you know, and was locked in, and then he got that dump. And I think that right there just, you know, sparked us. The bench was excited. The crowd was excited. We were into it just to see him get the start and uh, just rise to the occasion and just attack the basket and be aggressive, which, which we wanted to do all the time anyway. But, I mean, he's always been that type of player. We just got to give him to be more aggressive. Yeah, I agree with Christian, you know. Uh, 
Nils has always been our energy guy, I feel like, coming off the bench. And tonight he got the start. So, you know, that early spark, you know, help us uh, get the momentum a little bit. And, uh, you know, we just fed off that, you know, at the beginning. And we just carried it out throughout the rest of the game. Right-hand side, gentlemen. Uh, Brenton, did you feel a lot of people didn't give you guys a real chance for this game? And that, did that give you guys a little uh, chip, you know, at, uh, at edge, a little edge that you needed for this game? Yeah, you know, a lot of people were counting us out, you know, didn't think uh, highly of us, you know, coming into this tournament. Uh, we, we used that as motivation and, uh, you know, we just, uh, we used that as motivation and we came in here with a chip on our shoulder and uh, ready to play against uh, Illinois State. Back to Todd. Brenton, this is for you. Uh, obviously, the last, last moments of the game were, were nervous ones. You guys don't typically have trouble breaking a press, but talk about kind of getting your bearings and maybe what got you guys finally through to, uh, to get the victory. Yeah, uh, they were pressing us uh, pretty, pretty tough at the end. Uh, coach just wanted us to take care of the ball and just be solid and be uh, you know, confident with the ball. And uh, you know, I was able to break through a couple times uh, and got, I got Everett on a basket uh, towards the end of the game. And, uh, I think uh, that layup and a couple other plays towards the end helped us win this game. Okay, anything else for the student athletes of Indiana State? All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll dismiss you. Stay with Coach Lansing a little bit longer. Congratulations on your victory. We'll see you tomorrow. First question for the coach, Todd, go ahead. Greg, can you elaborate a little bit on the uh, defensive game plan and maybe what you saw in the guys that made you believe they'd have the intensity that they'd uh, execute it with? Well, because uh, I, I know we can. You know, I've seen them do it. We've done it. And I'll tell you what, about every day in practice, we do it. That's, what's, that's what was frustrating when we weren't guarding there during that stretch. We just didn't have the energy. Uh, kind of in this last couple of weeks, we've we got re-energized, got our mojo back a little bit, and we need to be aggressive and fly around, and you can't always do that. And, and a lot of teams in this league really jam it in, like they, uh, you know, they'll jam it in on Devontae and Brenton. Uh, and they have, across the board, uh, the toughest mismatches in the league individually because, like Christian said, what they can do, their bigs can put it on the floor, can shoot it. Guards are dynamic in, in the way they can uh, attack you. So we want to be able to come to help. We want to shorten those gaps a little bit, give them nowhere to go. And, and we made our mistakes. I mean, we did, but uh, for Breton to get five steals, and we kind of sprinkled a few more in there, gave up a few too many offensive rebounds. But the energy on the defensive end from the start of the game and then the start of the second half was really, really good. And uh, we can create some offense off our defense. That really helps us. But um, when you're not making shots, and we've, we've been guilty of, of, of not shooting very well in some games, you, you really have to, your defense has to be a constant. And uh, guys were locked in today. TP had them ready. Lou always uh, is our defensive coordinator, you know, with, uh, those guys worked it out and followed the game plan uh, pretty well. This side, Jim. <clears throat> uh, Greg, had you played that type of defense against Illinois State in either of the two meetings? No, <laughs> no. And obviously, it, over there we didn't do anything. I mean, it was a it was a layup show to start. Uh, we're missing shots, and they're going down doing absolute just attacking us one on one. Uh, we weren't helping. You don't like to do that. It's hard to do that when people can shoot the ball. Um, but we worked on some rotations when we, we did go to help, committed to the help, attacking out of help, and then we worked a lot on having a full rotation. So we were ready for it, and it looked we did a pretty good job uh, of it other than a couple times. That's pretty good for us, you know, subbing in and out like that. So, And we hadn't done it against anybody, Jim. We hadn't, and uh, we figured uh, to beat a, 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 a very, very talented team like them, we we're going to have to do something different. Back here, Todd. Greg, some of your defensive contributors, a couple of them up here, Brenton and Niels, are the first guys you'd think of who would be defensive contributors on your team, to be, <laughs> to be honest. But, but they stepped up. And you know, could you just talk about how that was indicative of the overall effort? They had some guys play some defense tonight and really show something on that side of the floor. Well, and that's the thing. It's, 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 it's bothered us all year is, you know, it's a team defensive game. If one guy makes a mistake, you're probably going to give up an easy basket. And we just, it's, it's it happens over and over and over and as much as we work on it. But uh, uh, Niels is really good. He's a talker like, like Christian alluded to there. Uh, he's a good helper. Uh, he does so many good things and, and, and the energy, you know, the energy and, and Brenton, it's just a, an area where 
Uh, he'd never been taught any of it. It's something new to him, you know, and we try to pound it into his head as much as we can. And he's so athletic and tough and competitive. Um, coming from that weak side and helping, he was terrific against some steals. Now, he's going to make a mistake. You're going to have to live with it, just like living with him taking a bad shot here and there. But um, we, we, are, we try to build a team defense. And uh, I thought we did a much better job of that tonight. And then you can play Evansville tomorrow. And if you're not locked in as a team, you got no chance. Cool. Obviously, the last couple of minutes were stressful. Uh, you know, and Illinois State, to their credit, did a good job with their press. But uh, what do you think was the defining factor that finally got you over the top? Well, we didn't prepare for that like we needed to. Probably we did. We got ready for the zone because we thought he goes to zone a lot. He goes to zone at times when we're ahead, and I was like, "Hey, we're going to be ahead, so they're going to have to go to zone." We we're more ready for that tonight. But the press, like you had asked, it doesn't usually bother us. Um, and I'm so confident in those guys. We got a little out of whack. Uh, we get just kind of got standing around waiting for one guy to break, and you can't do that. They're too good. When you just kind of, when a double team comes, just make an extra pass and attack. And we'll look at that and learn from it. Um, we didn't handle it very well, but that's probably more on me than the guys. And then in a, in a high energy game, when they're making a run, they're making shots and the crowd's into it. You know, you, uh, that's when you really got to be tough and come together. And, and we finally did that. It didn't, wasn't, certainly wasn't pretty, but we hung on enough. And I always trust a Devontae in there. Uh, and Ev is tough when, when he gets the ball in his hand. So it wasn't pretty. And uh, that's, uh, again, it's my fault for probably not working on it more. But the guys, they, they fought through it. Uh, Greg, you guys, I think, shot 23 threes. They shot 33 threes. That's kind of an odd number, really, for both you guys. Talk about that a little bit. And after watching six games this weekend, did, did we go back to the old officiating ways <laughs> this weekend? Uh, you know, I don't know. Eddie's around. You can ask him when you see him. But I, I, was, I know I was begging for a few, especially when they're making their run. But uh, um, those guys have tough jobs. My dad's in here sitting there. You know, we all just grew up knowing the officiating's tough. Probably never count on them being great for you. So, you know, you just you, you, you don't worry about it too much. And, um, it, it was a physical game. They're physical and they're talented. We wanted to be physical uh, and take and be a little more physical than they were. Uh, but it was um, a lot of close games. I've watched it. I've watched it bits and pieces of all of them. But in this league, and I've always said this, and you know it, it it's so well coached. I mean, these guys, you're not gonna, you're not gonna out coach any of them because you're, you're gonna, you have to come. You're gonna have a plan. You're gonna have to prepare and do well. And you're, everybody plays hard. Uh, so it's just one of those things that you got to control what you can control, and that's certainly not one of the things we can control. We are under three minutes. Next question's here. <clears throat> Real quickly, Greg, I know you have a lot of respect for Evansville, and you know, just talk about that matchup uh, tomorrow. Yeah, no, Mark, Mark, I like the guy. He's a, he's a he's a tremendous coach. He's still the he's the only guy in the country that does true motion, and they've stuck to it. They've had tons of success for it. Obviously, this team is built for this year. You know, this is the year they're uh, looking for to be the NCAA tournament team. Tons of respect for them. They have tremendous players, and it's not just the the, the two that were first team all league either. There are a lot of those. Jalen Browns has improved as anybody, and then uh, the young Simmons making shots. And I always thought Mizlov was outstanding. Uh, coming off the bench, so they're 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 not a two two player team for sure. They're very well coached, they're very well prepared, and they're tough. And uh, it's going to be a possession by possession game tomorrow. We're going to fight like crazy. Thank you, Greg. Thank Good you. luck. Thanks.